Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing Sonic Colors. Now, this was supposed to have gone up a while back, but I've kind of lost the audio for you know my narration of this, and that means this is not going to be blind. I'm not playing through the whole game again to get to the cutscene stuff, however. So, what I will do is I will take the cutscenes from the original video and you know put them in between the level stuff. There was one. One at the start of this before doing this level. There was one, I think, one or two before Eggman did his thing, and then there was a fair bit afterwards. So, you know, I will basically just do that because I'm not, as I said, I'm not going through the whole thing again for it, and I'm not doing the whole video in post commentary because there was over 40 minutes of the stuff. So, yeah. So, when the cutscene is done, I'll meet you back for the stage itself. Okay, so let's actually just do the stage itself here. I really don't like the stages. Unfortunately, both the stage and the boss are built entirely around this um, shitty little gimmick of the quick step. The quick step is the one thing in this game which is basically broken. And, you know, it's really unfortunate that they had to use it for such a you know, large thing as the final area of the game, because it really doesn't fit, you know? Anyway, you've got to jump at this bit, if you don't, you know, that happens basically, and you get tripped up, and that's really not good, because then you will be unable to dodge these guys. So, actually remember where you're supposed to jump, and that always helps, but you know, I'm, I haven't even played this in over a week, so I've kind of forgotten that already. Not a good start, but yeah, you need a lot of boost coming up because there's a fair bit of boost needed for one section in particular, which is going to be coming up very shortly. But first off, we've got to deal with these guys. I do kind of like how there's the, all of the enemies basically that were, you know, in in the game beforehand in the quick step sections. I do like the fact that they're here because it does make it interesting. But at the same time, this guy was pretty broken in the first place, so, you know, I'm not happy to see him in the slightest. Those lasers are often impossible to avoid, so, you know, if you're not lucky with where he puts them, have fun dodging it, you know? This is pretty much the only way I can see of doing it, and if you've not got a lot of boost, well, sucks to be you, basically. So yeah, just going to do a lot of jumping stuff and that is pretty much it. And now we get to combine it with these guys as well, so fun times. Yep, got hit by the laser because there was no way I could have seen that coming. And yeah, just trying not to die to these bozos now, basically. Well, I'm just going to boost this blog as I can because... Yeah, honestly, you kind of need to for that bit, and it's the end there. So it's not too long, it's not too that hard, but... Really, it's just a big ass pin to do, you know, because Quick Step doesn't work that well, and yeah, that's pretty much my opinion on that. So, there we go. Now, to the next thing. And yeah, I managed to keep all my rings the first time, that's why I got an S rank there. But yeah, we have the boss to do as well, so unless it's going to show me the cutscenes again, which I don't think it will, I uh, will be back when the cutscenes come up, or uh, it's finished. So yeah, see you in a bit. Time to bail! There are no lines, and I've saved the best rides for last! At least let me stab your hand so you can come back in! 
I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. So just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Curse you, Sonic! Not only do you foil my plans, but you foil my speeches as well! I work hard on them! No matter. I will destroy you, and I will be victorious! Is that better? Like a million times better. Thank you. This robot is special! He's powered by the energy from your little friends! He is invincible! So I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit I'm a little scared. I don't think we can beat this guy. See you on the ground, buddy. Huh? Sonic, no! Just got one last thing to do! As for you... Yeah, as I thought, it's not going to show them. So, Eggman has now pretty much taken all of the color powers for himself, and this is a big quick step boss type of thing. By far the hardest parts of this boss are from the cube. Everything else is generally not that hard to handle. Spikes are annoying as well, but they're nowhere near as hard to handle as the cube. So, yeah, he basically cycles through almost all of the color powers, and your idea in the end is to pretty much just, you know, wait until you get a chance to attack, and that's going to be it. Laser is not that hard to deal with until the end, because, I mean, he adds more waves to it, obviously, and yeah. Can't remember how many hits he takes to do, but I know it's quite a few, and it gets quite tricky come near the end of this. I think it's about seven or eight times you've got to do that. Really quite a long boss, but you know, it's it's not the worst thing ever. However, it's a bit more annoying to dodge stuff from here, and spikes from behind, not always that easy to avoid. Laser is as easy as ever, however, but it does get faster. As you can see, he's speeding it up a little bit. And then when he comes this side, you can attack again. Obviously as it goes along, the attacks don't just get harder, it gets longer in between attacks before you can do stuff. And look at that, now we've got a couple of Wisp guys with us as well. But you can't actually use them at all, and he can still use the powers which are associated with them. Just kind of putting that out there. So, Cube and Spikes, he starts combining powers here. Cube and Spikes is a really good one, actually, because it's basically just, you know, Spikes travel along the thing until they, you know, they travel in a straight line until they hit a cube, and then they come down towards you. Spikes by themselves are actually quite hard to avoid, but, you know. And then he comes up again, we can attack him, no problem. You know, really, it's not that hard until you get to the final few phases, and this is where it starts getting a bit more serious. So from here, he now, he does the same general attacks, but they are much more severe, and this one already is a lot more difficult to avoid. And now Cube is very, very hard here. You want to hold back so that you can gauge what's going on, but even with that, Quick Step doesn't work fast enough. It's really hard to get around that. Laser, you know, laser is still laser, however he's starting to add a lot more waves to it now, so it's definitely harder to avoid than before. And spikes come up. It's generally that sort of strategy is how I found spikes is tolerable, because otherwise you're just going to find yourself getting kicked in by it, and you know, if you just try and double jump it, it's not going to work. So. Reach for the stars music stand, you know, starting to come in a little bit. This is getting pretty good. I think it's only a couple more hits I need. Spikes again, eh? Well, I can deal with that. Like, there we go. Cube again. Well, cube is a lot harder to handle, so... Oh, there we go. Right, okay, I can do that. I can do that. Maybe not, because it doesn't freaking work fast enough. Ah. Now I've got to do this whole stretch without any rings. This is annoying. However, laser's not that hard to deal with. Even now, you can see it is starting to get very, very fast though. Spikes, still not a problem. And there we go. Attack, attack, attack. And once more for the power. Okay, more rings. And there we go. 
Now I think he's starting to basically be finished. Yep. So, lots of color stuff, and that's pretty much it. Very weird finish, to say the least, but... Yeah. That's just how it ends, and yeah, it's very fun, uh, very obvious that I've done this more than, you know, once already, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't do much about it. Can't really say much when my recording apparently doesn't save. You know? Anyway, can I get an extra life here? That would be very nice. Um, yes, but I can't reach it, and it's... Oh, it is going to bounce over to me! Haha, <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, that's that. So once again, working on Quick Step, and that's kind of annoying because Quick Step is really not that good in this game. But you know, they had to do it somewhere, and I guess this is kind of where they decided to do it. So you know, full on jump, and the idea is not to be able to outrun this thing. So you know, it just kind of goes and goes and goes, and there's no way of getting through it. And then I just want to make some final remarks about this game just before they start talking in this cutscene again. This game overall has been very good. There has of course been bad points about it, but you know, that's the same with all 3D Sonic games. However, on the whole, this one has been much, much better than the most recent ones, at least. And I thoroughly enjoy playing it. The credits, however, are basically as long as this video again, and I'm not going to be talking through them, so I'm going to put them up as a separate part, and that's going to be it. So, this has been Game of Cow playing Sonic Colors, there's nothing else to do after this apart from coin collecting, and yeah, join us next time when we start a new LP. See you guys. Sonic, are you okay? Man, I can't believe you made it through that. I like you thought I wouldn't. The only thing I was thinking about was getting pushed into an elevator. Well, a hedgehog's gotta do what a hedgehog's gotta do. Great job, Sonic. Thanks, but I had a little help during that last part. saving us uh, he says you are welcome that thing's translating pretty good yep I finally got all the kinks out we can talk to them perfectly now uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, great he says goodbye my friends I have to go <laughs> just when I got this thing working better late than never buddy Right on. <laughs>